in this larger painting. And um, so this is all, the last several live painting sessions have all been with this one large painting. I thought that would be kind of a neat thing to share of just how much work goes into a large painting. Uh, so this little guy, um, as I've mentioned, I love birds, but I'm not really a bird expert. I think he's a scatter or a sheep. Um, and so this is a South Dakota lake with a pelican and some seagulls. And then this, uh, this new little guy today, which I will call scatter. <laughs> um, and just in case you haven't met me before, my name's Jessie Rashi. I'm a professional um, portrait artist and landscape artist in South Dakota. And my landscapes have lots of animals grouped together and um, my portraits, I specialize in portraits of children. So if you wanna learn more about me, um, uh, there's lots of information on my website, or you're also welcome to ask. So here we go. And um, please leave a comment or a chat and let me know who you are and where you're watching from. And uh, hi, Cars, welcome. There we go. So after the initial wash-in, I have been just using straight paint without any um, mediums and so you can see a lot of thick palette knife marks here and um, I'm planning to do the same thing here so move things around a teeny bit. I'm zoomed in really close on the painting so um, you probably won't see much of my mixing today but I'm using my standard uh, palette with uh, the primary colors and uh, it's, I'm just going to mix up kind of an umber and and all of my paints have a different amount of thickness depending on their their brand and how old they are um, I go through enough paint that most of my paints are pretty new unless I get the urge to get out phthalo green or something like that that's been um, you know waiting for it to be painted with for 30 years but um, there we go Trying to get this initial grayish brown shadowy color right here. So it is beautiful here right now um you know our time when the weather is exactly perfect is um you know more limited than in some places <laughs> uh, but so nice we went for a really fun bike ride earlier and got to enjoy some of the summer it's funny So I'm using a bristle brush that's uh, one of my favorite brush. I can use it to put paint on and then I can use it to take paint back off. I'll get in the values and and uh, and also kind of shape this guy a little bit. So 
So as always, your questions are always um, very welcome. And um, I can scoot this down a little bit. So you can see kind of a corner of palette here. Warm shadow color here. Start. Violet color. Right now, I'm mostly concerned with getting my values and um, it's easier for me to adjust my temperature later than to adjust the, the values if it's too dark or light. Since I'm using um, pure paint with no mediums, I am um, being very aware of how it will be to paint on top of this. So, um, so my first layer here is getting scrubbed in pretty well, um, so that when I make adjustments, um, I won't be kind of fighting with what I've already done. <laughs> awesome. So yes, says she went on a nice walk outside today. It's, oh, it's such a good day for it. It's wonderful. And um, out here, you know, people are so spread out that uh, social distancing isn't really a concern. We didn't see anybody else. Um, I'm sure it's more of a challenge for people that are in big cities. And wow. Coming back from the bike ride, our, our little garden has attracted all of these butterflies. It turned into a butterfly garden kind of by accident. Really nice. And, uh, I don't know if you saw a lot of uh, a lot of animals while you were on your walk, say, or anybody else that's been able to get out and enjoy nature a little bit. I always come back into the studio with um, you know, sort of more inspiration after I've been out in nature and uh, it's nice. Getting a little nitpicky here. I'm just trying to get my proportions right.
So this painting is um, 30 inches wide and 30 inches tall. And um, so it's about eight times bigger than a lot of the, the paintings that I do for the demos. And 10 times bigger. And um, for large paintings like this, I don't always break them down into little sections like this. Um, but this particular painting, it kind of feels like five different portraits here together. And um, so I'm just being really careful that my brush strokes are kind of same across the different areas of the painting and um and and doing it in different sections like this it's uh seems to be working so far <laughs> So, uh, uh, hi, Sid. Thank you so much. And welcome. <laughs> oh, Liz. Hi. Thank you. Have you been able to do uh, very much artwork yourself lately? And for anybody who is watching or joining, um, you are welcome to share what your big projects are, if they're art related or um, or otherwise. So, it's always nice to know more about the people that are joining me for these painting demos. And um, so I had wanted to learn how to paint in oil paint without any medium for years. And um, since I first learned how to use oils uh, with using medium, it, um, it's a real challenge. It's the paint feels so much different when it just goes on straight and um, so I recommend if you're starting out with oil paint uh, learn how to paint without medium before you before you start using it and um, but then you end up with more options more ways of putting the paint down so you can really focus on expressing you know what you want to say about something and uh, and using your particular kind of uh, paint application to tell a story and to really do it in a way that you're you know intentional Oh, <laughs> Liz says she just made two pictures for Say and Mom. That is so sweet. That's awesome. I bet they love them. So I'm starting to get some of the form here. 
And for those of you that are joining on Facebook today, um, most of my demos I do just on YouTube and um, and I'll type in my, my YouTube channel later on if you're interested in that. It's just youtube.com slash Jesse Rashi. Um, but I do live painting demos about twice a week now. And um, and then a drawing class on Thursdays. So one thing that I'm really working on in this painting is focusing on the light and the shadow. 